We are Lee and Tanya Barbero sharing this week's Marriage in a Minute message. Parents are the first teachers of faith for their children, yet many of us think that we are really not equipped to do that. Don't be discouraged, it is possible. We have an inside joke between us that God wanted to make sure we got it right, so He gave us another chance. We have a unique situation where we have a big gap between our kids. Our oldest was born two years after we were married in 1983. Then, when she graduated from college 21 years later, we started our second round of parenting with our two younger kids. They're now aged 14 and 6. We've heard it said that faith is caught more than taught, and that got us thinking about our own personal faith journey. How did we catch faith? Who did we learn from? I can recall a few memorable encounters of catching faith from my family. My grandfather prayed the rosary every night, and I would sit in the room with him as he said the prayers before bedtime. From that experience, I caught on that prayer was important, something that deserved daily attention. I caught on that faith was action when I learned from my grandmother's example to service of service to the church. Every Saturday after cleaning our house, we would walk to our little mission church to dust and polish the pews, sweep the aisle, and decorate the flowers from our yard. In my faith journey, my experience of saying grace before family dinner taught me the importance of thanking God for what He has provided for us. And I treasure the values that I continue to carry out for the, from the many faith traditions that my family practice. Advent wreath putting out the manger scene during the weeks preceding Christmas, and the Lenten rituals moving up to Holy Week and Easter have special meaning as I pass this on to my children. As we establish our own family, we bring together these experiences to help our children grow in their faith. These experiences, and even just everyday activities, offer the opportunities to share and teach our faith. For example, when our oldest was eight, Out of the blue, she asked me, When I go to heaven, will I know Grandma? Will she know me? Will she look like when she was old or like the picture when she was young? At first, I was stunned at the depth of her questioning, and then I was worried, was something going to happen because she's asking me these questions? But after after that initial jolt, I calmly answered the best I could in a way she'd understand. I felt gratified that she knew about heaven, even at that young age, we were doing something right. The same happens now with the younger kids. The little one recently surprised me when she said, Wow, God really painted the sky so pretty, as she admired a beautiful sunset. If you want to teach your children the Christian faith, the best way is to let them see and experience your faith. Of course, you should teach them prayers. But remember, it's more important for them to see and hear you pray. Of course, you should encourage them to attend church and participate in faith formation. But remember, it's even more important for them to see you going to church and being excited to be there. You see, the Christian faith is more caught than taught. The old saying is so true. What we do speaks more loudly than what we say. Until next time, love Love and and enjoy. enjoy.